I'll be going over FarApp's Amazon connector to show you how we sync the order data from the marketplace into Oracle NetSuite ERP and get the fulfillment data from NetSuite back into the storefront. Let's jump right into the Amazon Seller Central dashboard. Here's the order details. We want to make sure we bring in all the relevant order details, such as the item, shipping, and total breakdown. Here's the FarApp dashboard where you have visibility into what's going on in the background. We've already set up the authentication for Amazon and FarApp to connect so that we can bring in an order. We would go to the Amazon connector on the left, then data flows, then orders. And then we would click on the retrieve button here. We enter the order number here and click the retrieve button to bring in the order into FarApp. When I click on this action button, and select the edit button, it will bring up the details that are going to go into NetSuite. Here, you can see the billing information, shipping details, items, and amounts. Note that all this data is pre-configured and pre-mapped so that you don't have to set these up manually. FarApp will sync all this data by default straight out of the box. I've created no mappings and these values are lined up to the appropriate fields automatically. Normally, we wouldn't have to perform this manual sync, but since this is for demo purposes, we don't have the syncs turned on just yet. So we'll click on the action button again and select the post order to NetSuite option so that we can post this order data into NetSuite. We'll wait for it to post. And then once it's done, it should say order posted waiting for shipment. Next, let's hop into NetSuite. All you need to do is search for the same order number and it should pop up in the dropdown. You'll notice that it's automatically created a sales order and is waiting to be fulfilled. You'll see the relevant order data, such as the customer information, item details, and the shipping details. All this information was properly mapped into NetSuite without any type of custom configurations or mappings. Now, if you have your shipping method set up and you click on this fulfill button on the bottom left of the screen, it will take you to the item shipment record where it will automatically record the tracking details as you can see here and change the status to shipped. Now that the order is completed in full in NetSuite, we want to make sure we send back the fulfillment data to the marketplace. Once again, we wouldn't have to do this manually, but since it's a demo and the syncs are not turned on, we will go into the FarApp dashboard and click on the action button so that we can upload the shipment from NetSuite. We'll wait for it to process. And once it's finished, it will update the status to complete. Finally, let's go back into Seller Central to see how the order details have changed and now reflect a shipped status instead of pending. If we click on the edit shipment button, we can see that the tracking number has properly been placed in the appropriate field. Now that we've confirmed that all of the order details and the fulfillment data is being passed back and forth seamlessly, we can go back into the FarApp dashboard and click on the Manage Data Syncs menu option on the left-hand side of the screen. Here, you can turn on the syncs that we just tested, which are the order and fulfillment syncs. You'll have to toggle the connector on first, but once you do that, you have full control over all of your syncs, including both MFN and FBA orders, as, it was, as well as fulfillment and other syncs. Now your order and fulfillment syncs have been turned on and you're all set.